Hi everyone, welcome and welcome back to my channel. In today's recipe, we're making this super juicy baked chicken. This right here is by far the best baked chicken I've ever made. Today I'm showing you guys how to make roasted garlic butter baked chicken. Hopefully you guys like it. If you enjoy the recipe, please, please, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new here to my channel, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and let's begin. All right, guys, let's get started. I will have all the ingredients down below for you guys, so please check that out. To begin, I am using one head of a garlic. I am going to slice the top off just like that. Then I am going to take a foil, place the head of a garlic on top of it, just like so. Then we are going to take our olive oil, just drizzle a little bit of that on there and we're going to cover it just like that and place it in the oven. I am using an air fryer to roast my garlic, however you can use an oven, on 400 for about 40 minutes. While that is cooking, I'm prepping my herbs. I'm using rosemary, parsley, and thyme. I'm just going to chop them off just like that, very small, very fine, to help release all that herby flavor to the chicken. All right, now that I'm done, I am going to move on to my veggies. Now this is optional, but I do like some veggies when I make baked chicken. I can have something to eat it with, although I will be eating some rice with this chicken as well. But we have celery, carrots, and some red potatoes. I am going to cut them small, that way they can cook faster, just like that. Well, except the potatoes, you know, potatoes, they don't really take a long time to cook. Now we're going to set that aside, moving on to my chicken. I am just going to show you guys how to butterfly your chicken. I am using a kitchen shears to cut the chicken. I am removing the backbone of the chicken and be very careful that part can be a little bit i mean it's not hard but you have to be careful with your fingers i'm using both my knife and my kitchen shears all right guys now that i'm done removing the backbone i am going to clean the chicken with salt vinegar and lime okay now once i'm done to make your chicken nice and flat i'm not sure if you notice i just press down in the middle of the chicken to make it nice and flat Okay, that way it'll cook fast, it's so much faster. So now here's my garlic. Ooh, look at that beauty. It's ready to go, it should be nice and soft. So what I'm going to do is basically squeeze out the garlic from that um, garlic pocket. So I am using butter, room temperature butter. Mm, they ready, they melted, I like that. Now I'm going to squeeze in that roasted garlic. Ooh, it's going to be so yummy. Just squeeze, it was hot y'all. That's why I have a glove on because it was so hot, literally just came out. So this is it right here. I also drizzle a little bit of olive oil in there so it's not too thick, so it can be nice and spreadable. And then you are going to add in your herbs. Mm, mm, mm. Make sure you, Stir this really good, that way all that 
garlic can be nice and blended and mixed in there and once you're done just set it aside moving on to the seasoning all right this is the chicken nice and clean and ready to go make sure it's not wet as you guys can see i'm trying to pat it dry so here you are going to drizzle a little bit of oil on there before you start adding your seasoning the seasoning are onion powder garlic powder white pepper black pepper salt adobo seasoning paprika creole seasoning cumin a lot of good stuff in there all right so once you are done mixing that up you are going to drizzle that oil on there and just just go generously just heavy with the seasoning once you're done adding your seasoning just take a few scoops or a few spoonful of that garlic butter and just spread it on there oh my goodness so good it's about to be really good okay so i am going to do the same thing on the other side just add the uh, oil seasoning then spread that butter garlic butter all over just like that make sure to just marinate this chicken really 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 good so you are going to just keep seasoning it just like that this is what i called well seasoned chicken right there okay so once you are done, you are going to take whatever you're baking it in. I'm using cast iron. You are going to place that just like that on there and take your veggies. My veggies, I like to season them as well. So I'm going to take some of the remaining of the seasoning and drizzle a little bit of oil on the veggies and then season it. And then we're going to place it on the side of the bird now. You can place them at the bottom, but I want the chicken to touch the bottom of the cast iron. If you own a cast iron, you know that thing gets really, really hot and you want the chicken to be nice and cooked through. So yeah, this is it. Look at that beauty. All right, guys, here it is. Once you are done, you ready to pop this in the oven. I am going to bake this on 350 for about 50 to 60 minutes, an hour, okay? And once it's done, once you are done baking this chicken, this is how it's supposed to come out. This is the final result. Ooh, this chicken recipe is so good, y'all. When I said this is one of the best chicken recipes that I've ever made, it's so juicy. It just melts in your mouth with all that butter, the herby flavor. It has the perfect seasoning. Oh my God, you have to try this out, especially for Thanksgiving. If you're not making turkey, try this out. And if you are making turkey, take all of that seasoning option that I gave you guys and just apply it for a turkey recipe, okay? This chicken is so flavorful, so yummy. Try this out, y'all. You, you, can, you can make a chicken and a turkey at the same time. It's so good and the potatoes, so juicy. Look at that sauce. Did I add water? No. The, the chicken's just so juicy, okay? Oh, anyways, I hope you guys like today's recipe. Don't forget to give it a big thumbs up for me because this recipe definitely deserves a thumbs up. Also, subscribe if you're new here. And I will see you guys on the next recipe. Bye, guys.